So guys, we're back. That's uh, Kid in the World review. Um, these games are really, really good right now, um, because they're good to review for me because they're actually high elo. They're pretty much all challenger memoir. It's all people that are challenger before. So on the title it says like D1 whatever, but it's because Bethany, you know, the seasons just started and Bethany just did placements. He's looking for a W start of Alessandra. That's gonna this Alessandra is good. Yeah, this this is challenger. I think. Um, I'm gonna tell if it's actually challenger by the way the enemy plays. From what I'm watching right now, this is just playing pretty well. This is definitely not D1. So this is where it could be awkward when you start to do that W strat and it doesn't work out. because you're going to miss some CS by not starting Q. Um, this Sandra is definitely one of the hardest matchups. The question is, did she go uh, electrocute or her? Or, okay, she went after shock actually. Okay. So it's just... It's it's really, really, really hard matchup, bro. This matchup is it's like really impossible because... You go on her, she just spams the W, then she gets Aftershock, she gets a lot of resistance, you can one-shot her, right? And when they go Aftershock, obviously they don't really play, they could go for kills, obviously, but they play mostly for the setups. So that's either by uh, get, uh, setups for the jungle, to gank your lane, or setups to just do yeah, plays like that, yeah, pretty much, like she's doing right now, right? I don't think she's gonna dive bot, though, because she's level 2, so that would be weird. They still need to be careful, bot is not really paying attention, Beth thinks she's paying way more bot lane, which is a mistake from him. Okay, so the way you should ping, bro, it's like, the way you ping actually matters. So Befeng just, okay, like, this is actually a mistake from Befeng. Like, I just need to point it out that you cannot just ping like that, like, small, messing. you gotta put your cursor right here. You ping from here to here to here to here, and then you ping the Blissandra to tell your body, yo, watch out, they're balling, man. Right? So, honestly, I feel like that's a lack of ping control. Like, if you guys watch my videos... Like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, when I do my own gameplay, I honestly believe, and that's really no ego shit, I actually believe the way I ping is the best way to ping in the game. I think that the yellow ping is the best ping by far. I think that the red ping is trash, because the sound's too, like, neat. It's, like, too fast and not clear enough. I think the yellow ping is definitely the best ping visually and sonically speaking to give your team a real, like, knowledge of what's going on. So I think that's the best way to ping. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch one of my gameplays and you'll know exactly the way I ping and what I'm talking about, right? So they get her TP because otherwise sure I get stove. Um, and she, yeah, she needs to reset because she can't walk to go back mid, right? So I actually think this is a mistake from Befang because he wants to go, the wave's pushing into him, but instead of just recalling getting an extra long sword, what ends up happening, he wants to go mid to push the wave again. The thing is, it's not going to crash in time, I believe. And because it's not going to crash in time, the Sunshine could come and she's going to have an item advantage and pressure him. So as we could see, like I said, they did not crash in time. So now we need to stay. So first of all, we're low on mana. Second of all, we're exposed to a gang. But it's most importantly, like I said, the Sunshine's going to have an item advantage. I might be wrong. We might be able to... I guess it doesn't matter. We'll see though. Like right here, I'm kind of talking about like... You see that little window like right here? Like let's say you gank, gank right here. I feel like Yon, not Yon, the Ivern's kind of trolling. I feel like if the Ivern's good, he probably just sits in that pocket, right? Like, he just wants to gank at that perfect timing. I feel like you're kind of fucked if that happens. You have no mana, so you have to blow flash. Even if you blow flash, if Ivern has red, whatever, you slowly you could get by the Q, then the sun drop off, and you're just dead, right? So, at the same time, I feel like you only kind of bailed him out because he was heavy fighting tough, so Ivern hovered tough instead of mid, but... I guess I just take it back. I guess what he did was still better because instead of just getting one longsword, he gets a Dirk because of it. So I guess I was wrong. I take it back then. I thought this Sunshine would also come faster, not gonna lie. That's my bad. I think though that if she has TP, you probably reset. If she doesn't, if she used it top, then you push. So I think maybe that's the difference. Yeah, I think I'm wrong actually. Only if she has TP that you need to uh, recall. Okay, so Lissandra is like going bot or what? Push, yeah. This is gonna be a slow game. I could already tell. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be too much. It's only not gonna be bot and top. Mid's gonna be pretty. Mid's gonna be like, and that's why the Sandra's a bit cringe too. It's like she just prima pushes. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, there you go. Just prima pushes, and then she just gets prior, right? Because you can't have prior against her, and she just rolls. Like really, really cringe. You cannot really stop it at all. Let's be careful. Ivan's gonna come here as well. This is not gonna work. Yet. So it's like that's why the Sandra's also cringe. She just Q W whatever, pushes the lane, roams, and you can't follow. 
Ivern should be here as well, no? Should eat towards the gym. I mean, that was a mistake. Talk about it after. Yeah, I guess he lives. What the hell? He lived now. I feel like he was still not the best way to play, but... Talk about it. Tank, 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 well done, bro. Oh, that gen does no damage. Oh, the bombs. How did that go so well for him? I'm so surprised. Yo, let me just go back real quick because I feel like the E here was not good. I feel like if that's me, I definitely E on the gen to go towards the trash for the lantern. Then, like, E flash towards trash for the lantern and just get out, right? But, like, him kind of, like, not messing it up, but, like, doing this right here. Kind of like just made this whole play happen, and his team actually is probably gonna go for a three for two. No, it's the only he's the only one that died, so it's a two for one right now. But wait, who died? There's two people that died, right? I heard and actually three people died so it's actually a three for one so it's actually hella worth it so the way he played it because he survived with that 50 hp made it turn into a three for one instead of a zero for zero so i guess he played it well nice he gives his team the edge now so yeah three for one definitely worth it. I definitely would not have played it like that though well done They said her CS should be like really low. Yeah, she, actually, not really. She's 39. I'm kind of lucky that the enemy jungle is like a bad champion. Like, if it's a good champion, like, Sandra could just do perfect setup. Like, let's say it's a Viego or something. Like, I think it'd be like Perma dying. To the lanterns, we go. I think could punish the all the yeah. other side, but he's gonna run into the jungle. Yeah. Ivern is clearly top side with the Sanja missing. They might set up a dive. She's mid. If it's definitely bad top though, you need to be on the lookout. Ivern's probably top. He's either on Rift or he's taking the enemy bot blue side or he's gonna gank top. Not on Rift. Yo, Yon wins against Fiora, by the way. What? That's literally how broken Lethal Tempo is. Yo, Ivern is bot. Yo, does Ivern have blue key blood? Oh, let me see, huh? Oh, because I want to see if Ivern has blue. I feel like this Ivern is just fucking trolling, though, bro. I just had all the time to go bot, and Ivern was clearly topside, and he, he didn't take the Rift with. Yeah, that guy's trolling. Or gank top. That definitely. It's gonna troll. Oh, minion! Wow, that was fucking clean. I feel like the Sandra just misplayed that. It just feels like she should just kill the minions faster to, for the threat to uh to hit uh, Befang. She kind of did, but like they were already way too low. Like she should have killed that sooner. Because that one like. Uh, the longer, like, the, a bit longer the minion hits him, he probably dies because of it. So when did she use Q? Let me just see him. Just, did she use Q right here, obviously? Yeah, she missed. Okay. Like, right now she has Q. Like, the Q is really not long. Like, she has, yeah, she had Q all that time. Yeah, she just misplayed that. She definitely just misplayed that. She should have just... But, I mean, it's really a small detail. Like, you gotta be, like, 5 head to think about that. But I'll definitely think about that if I'm Lissandra. Because that's the whole point. You wanna kill the minions, because otherwise you don't have damage to kill the Kiana, right? A oh, nice old on the the gen. Wow, nice dodge. What the fuck? It's kind of hard to kill Nautilus though, cause. Uh, for sure. Yeah, flashing knights actually worth it. And the Nautilus gets the shutdown instead of gen. You know, those dodges on the old were like really, really smart. Yeah, the dodge was clean, especially that last one. The last dodge was hard to do, and that was clean. I guess the little Sanja as well with the last ten you know, of all the damage. That was clean. Okay, let's speed it up. 
Okay, we're back mid. Yes, sir. Also, we saw. Um, we saw like uh, Sandra uh, aftershocks not really doing too much right now. I feel like I'm trying to think if she could have used it better last time, but not really because like. I guess the best way to use it is like not I mean, if you don't use your W and or you don't have damage, it's like really awkward because like normally you want to use it when you know it cannot gonna do damage. The whole play of the Sandra here was like to clear the minion so the threat could kill Bethang, like stun down the threat, but she just messed it up. Not really any way to play it better, except like I said, just clear the minions. Could definitely go for a one shot here, like a hundred percent right here. Surprised he doesn't go for it. There you go. Uh, Iron was hovering. He dies because of it. She lives with 1 HP. I feel like that would be worth it to trade 1 for 1 though. I feel like that was kind of missed though. Now use crawlers because we were stunned or something. Oh, we were, bro. That's kind of unlucky. Okay, you got her ult, it's not bad, but oh, this is bad. Not too bad, they don't even get dragon or anything out of it, so it's not the end of the world. It actually goes for mercs this game, that's so smart. It's actually needed, honestly. The Ivern, uh, Nalus, Sandra? I was against TF, what was it, TF Blitz, no, TF, I don't forget, I forgot what it was. TF Trash and then the jungle was like Elise or something, I think. And I went, because uh, the TF lane, I like to go with Tenacity instead of Lost End. Because like, it's just a cringe matchup, you can't really kill him anyways. If he just plays like a Blissey, like he just takes the uh, Inspiration. I forgot what the rune's called. The, the Minion Demeritalizer, I think it's called. And they just like perma push like without doing nothing. So going Mercs against TF, not Mercs, uh, Tenacity against TF. Be smart instead of Lost End. Usually people pick TF when they have like a setups, so it makes it easier to play against. Not easier, but not easy, but it makes it easier to play against because the stuns like doesn't last as long. Because the meta right now of TF is like really not. It's, it still does damage, but it's mostly setups. Like they like to go rapid fire cannon, like Everfrost and stuff, just to lock you down. So like, the Nazi is good for that. If it works on the Everfrost, and Lissandra should go Everfrost as well. I saw Crown Lissandra, but. It was pretty bad to be honest. This guy should go for frost. So Ivan coming mid, no? Maybe buggy. Oh, there he is. Yes, for small. Go for a flank, yeah, instead. I don't know about going there. I mean, this is definitely a mistake. He still gets the two men ult. Nice, that is to get Ivern. Callista is the worst ADC in the game. Can she do something? Okay, Pogger. I just feel like the pathing was a bit in though. I feel like there you just don't go there because you just go up here to take the plane here and then you do like a ult on this wall right here and your team is going to get there faster, right? Because now that ult is still good because it's two men ult, but you kind of push them away from your team, right? Like imagine he takes the plane here and now he comes here and he ER right that. I think like the pathing to go to the play was like just not the best to be honest. They actually killed Jin. Wow, that hook was. Wow, that hook was legend. Where's Lissandra? Is she like. Wait, she's dead? Wait, she wasn't the play? Oh, it's true, she ulted Bethany. Okay, we saw that. Bet, he goes for this. So, I mean, Serpents this game is pretty 1v9. Nullis has a shield, Fiora likes to go Sterax, and obviously Ivern. Ivern, the whole point of the champion is to shield people, especially with Moonstone yet. Yeah. Not really going EP, so Serpents 1v9 against Ivern. I mean, I would say that Serpents against Ivern is kind of a necessity, to be honest. It's like, even if there's no shields, like, it's you should still go Serpents, I think. 
against Ivern. You don't need to go at second if he's the only shield, but like in your build, Serpent should be there. A hundred percent. Still hangover as fuck. Oh, I don't know if I like whiskey more than vodka, bro. I can't really tell. Man, which I like more, bro. Is there a difference between light and dark liquor? Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google. What was? Oh, to did not hit anyone. Trash needs to flush. This support is good, bro. I thought it was putting, but it's not putting. It's trash. Maybe Trash, I mean, Pike was bad? I don't know. This looks like a pro player, though. Not a pro player, but like, pretty good player. Good support. I've been seeing this guy play in a lot of games, and he's pretty good. This is dangerous, bro. Wants to go for the Ivern, though. Smart. Oh, we lost vision there. Unlucky. He's not looking too good, man. Probably. Okay, nice ice. We're out if we eat a minion. Okay, we should be able to get a 3 here, honestly. Let's grab for Jake. I mean, we reset, but we have an awkward tempo for Dragon. Hmm, but Flash EQ crawlers cancel the auto but then he gets it. He needed that dragon for sure now, so that was good. Ivan could be behind, I don't know if that's the play to be honest. Is it? I don't think it is. He still wants to go for it. Yeah, this is not the play. Oh, okay. I'm He needs Gragas. He has mana for a full combo. If Gragas just comes, you know, she's dead for sure. That could be a mistake. What was that lag? That's not me. The VOD just lagged there. Yeah, he could have died there, but he doesn't die, I guess. It's kind of unlucky. Yeah, taking brush, I mean, while there was dangerous, could have just took uh, brush again, wait, Gragas. Alright, if we don't have Ravnus, we die, though. Do we have Serpents now? But you can see now, Befeng, like, when he's in those high low games, he doesn't pop off, like, he doesn't drop 20 kills, which is normal, bro. You, like, if you're a plot, obviously you're gonna drop 20 kills, but that's why I was excited to see. Uh, to watch those reviews because these are the actual real games like that we actually play in high low it's not like plot so obviously you can't drop 20 kills every game in fucking challenger especially in a chinese super server challenger this is like one of the best servers in the world it's like the best challengers of all the 26 different servers are meeting up on that one server to fight against each other so obviously good players still placement but still wait what Okay, we go Sally now, we go talk because he wants bot, so that makes sense. Baron's up in a minute. Wait, the signs in China are different. Because in NA, I think, I'm pretty positive that this sign right here, the gray thing, it means 30 seconds. In China, it looks like it's one minute. Because I'm pretty sure that was changed on NA, by the way. Okay, so do you see the yellow thing? That should be 10 seconds, I believe. Is it? So let's see. I need to know if it's up. 
Uh, yeah, I think that was 10 seconds. Maybe the greeting is one minute then, I'm not sure. Let me go check, actually. How do I check that? Jungle map icon. Symbols on me. Yellow means it spawns in 20 seconds, that's definitely cap. And green was 40 seconds or a minute. What is this guy saying? It's definitely bullshit, bro. And it's three years ago, that's definitely not accurate. Nice ult. Only gets one though. I guess it wasn't that good then. I would have ulted the same thing, but. Nice. Big win. Need to see the R right now though. We only have 20 A's. It's kind of bad. I only put two points in W and then he started maxing E, which is interesting. Yeah, this is three years old, bro. There's no way this is accurate. Let me look on this. Oh my head. Doesn't even say on the wiki that's so bad. I guess I need to go find it out manually. Whatever, bro. I see what gives a fuck, bro. Doesn't really matter that much. I bet I was typing to someone. Come out. Wait, wait, let's see the whole play. These so they get the dragon whatever, then they walk up. They see them on the Jinx plant, and they still die to it. She still walks up there. That's fucking end. Okay. I mean, nothing really special. I just er. Nice. Good move. Oh, that Lissandra passive damage did a lot there. Holy shit. Wait, they're fucking throwing. It's not worth it. Big shutdowns. Especially the EDC in the top. Yeah, you said you shouldn't eat, you should just ult. Makes sense. That Orglass could fund the trash, never mind. Definitely not a good Orglass from Gragas though. I guess it actually did fuck the trash. I guess it fucked both of them. Yeah, that Orglass from Gragas was pretty dog. You drill the Orglass to Ivern Q, which is pretty useless. When Orglass something, Orglass the damage of Lissandra, not a Ivern Q that does no damage. This game's looking, uh, they, they kind of threw there, man. They could lose this game. If you're not I though, you're definitely gonna find those game borings, I think. Because it's not really like 20 kills and just kills all the time, it's more macro. 
more team play, more objectives. I don't really know why he's going mid, to be honest. I feel like that's the play, I should just stay tall. If they wanted to do a play, it would have been to invade the blue, but it's unnecessary. Even if the play works, it doesn't really get anything out of it. Maybe a threat mid, but that's just a maybe. Because the enemy team's good at clearing the Jin, the Ivern with the bushes, the Lissandra. No objectives up, so it's, you can't capitalize on it, so it's not the best. The red play, but the DC support's not here. I don't know why I feel about that. Okay, so taking. We we'll just farm for grudge, honestly, bro. The grudge is like a massive power spike, especially considering we don't have uh, CDR. Yeah, like, should just base for grudge. I bet we're in a really good position here. That's why Serpents is broken because you see, like, we're three items at 25 minutes, even though we only have five kills, just because Serpents is just so cheap, so. I don't really agree about the fact that you should always go Yumus if they don't have shield. I think if you're behind, Serpents gives more value than Yumus just by being cheaper itself. Gives you a better spike. I only put two points in W this game, bro. I want to see if he keeps doing that or he just did tested it this game. Ah, oh, he tried to ER on the gen. This is pretty bad, man. We dry right before dry he spawns. <laughs> No, the grey icon is 1 minute, and I think the yellow is 10. It's 10 or 15, I know it's 10 or 15. It's 10 though. I just count it, next time I see a yellow thing, I'll count it. Oh, it just appeared on Baron, let me count it. 1... Yeah, it's 10 seconds. Okay. Callista getting it all to work, but then she gets ulted by Lissandra. Fura could go for the kill, but nobody goes on Callista. When he gets a massive ult, Callista's getting... Oh my god, Callista's gonna pop off. Oh, Callista's popping off. Oh, it's GG. They get Dragon, they get Baron. This game's over. Soul point. Yeah, this game's over. That was like the most important fight. Yo, that was a 4v5, no? And they won that? Yeah, it was. They won a 4v5. I, mean, I don't know what the enemy team is doing, honestly. Nobody went on the Callista except Nalus ulted her. But except from that, Fira was the only one to look to go there, so... I guess Yon kind of just ulted them all so they can't really do anything. Okay, so yellow thing is 10 seconds. How long is the gray thing? I kind of want to find that out, honestly. My bad, let me go back. Honestly, fuck that. I'm not that down. Let's just do the next gray thing, actually. If I say gray thing pop off, I'm going to do it. Otherwise, fuck that. 600 gold. That's two kills worth of gold at red, by the way. That's a lot of gold. Should look for a... Uh, yeah, I don't know why he doesn't see the bush. I just think jungle's better, honestly. You see, Jing looked like he would have been dead because I think he eat the bush. Okay, the great thing just appeared on Crab. Actually, it did not just appear. Right there. Yeah. 
the blue is just dead right here though. Let's calculate right here on the blue, the enemy blue. Yeah, so the gray is one minute and the yellow is ten seconds. I learned that when I was playing jungle, but then after my arm break, I just kind of forgot. I thought it was 30 seconds, not gonna lie. I dropped the pink. Oh, what the fuck? That guy is fucking massive. Massive penis, man. Ah, damn, the fuck? PP, the PP is massive, man. God damn. GG man. Well thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next review. Take care guys. Have a nice day. Enemy team FF I think it looks like. Yeah. GG. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next review. Take care guys.